Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math algebra problem. So if we have m plus n equals 20 and m n equals to 200 and we solve this problem for the values of m and n. Okay, so the very first step we are going to do is here first we call this is our equation number 1 and we call this is our equation number 2. So first we focus on equation number 1 so that from equation number 1 we have here we move this m to the right hand side and we get the value of n equals to 20 minus m and we call this is equation number 3. So now here we need to use this equation number 3 in equation number 2. It means that we put this n equals to 20 minus m. Okay. So that equation number 2 is implies that this is m times of n. And we have the value of n is 20 minus m equals to 200. Okay, so further uh, we need more simplifications here so that we first multiply this m on both of these terms and it will be written as 20m minus m square equals to 200. So now we need to move the terms in the left hand side to the right hand side so that when you move these two terms to the right hand side it will be written as this is minus m square it will becomes plus m square this is plus 20m becomes minus 20m this is plus 200 and this whole is equals to 0. So further you see here this equation will become quadratic in m variables so that here we just apply the quadratic formula in order to solve this quadratic equation. So first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1, b equals to minus 20 and c is equals to 200 and we know about the quadratic formula it is stated as minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a so this is the our quadratic formula and now here we need to put the values of a b and c in this formula and it will be written as m equals minus b the value of b is minus 20 and plus minus square root of b square so b is minus 20 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 200 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our value of a is equals to 1 okay so further uh, we need more simplifications here and it will be written as uh, this will become minus times of minus is plus 20 and plus minus square root of minus 20 square equals to uh, 400 minus 4 times of 200 equals to 800 and it is divided by 2 times of 1 equals to 2. So here you see that we need to subtract these two values and it will be written as 20 plus minus square root of 400 minus 800 equals to minus 400 and it is divided by 2. Okay so further you see here we have uh, this is uh, 20 and plus minus we know that 400 square root we here we just separate the square root on both of these terms 400 square root and minus 1 square root and it is divided by 2 okay so further we have the value of m is equals to 20 plus minus uh, we know that the square root of 400 equals to 20 and the square root of minus 1 equals to iota and it is divided by 2. So after this step we have uh, the values of m are uh, m equals to here we need to separate this fraction we write it as 20 over 2 plus minus 20 over 2 iota okay. So further we need more simplifications here so you see that 2 tens are 20 2 tens are 20 and we get the values of m are 10 plus minus 10 iota okay so these are the two values of m and these are complex values and now here we need to find the values of n so that for uh, in order to find the values of m we need to uh, move our equation number three here 
uh, so uh, first we can just uh, write our equation number three is implies that n equals to 20 minus m and here we uh, divide the next solution in two cases so first we here we write the positive value of m so positive value of m is 10 plus uh, 10 iota and here we write the negative value it is 10 minus 10 iota so now we need to substitute these two values uh, in this equation number three and we get the corresponding values of m okay so first we put the uh, this value of m here and it will becomes n equals to 20 minus m the value of m is 10 plus 10 iota and here uh, we multiply this negative sign on both of these terms it will become 20 minus 10 minus 10 iota and we get here 20 minus 10 is 10 minus 10 iota okay this is the value of uh, n corresponding to the value of m is this okay similarly we need to uh, solve the second case here so now we put this value of m here and it will becomes n equals to this is 20 minus m the value of m in that case is 10 minus 10 iota so now we need to multiply this negative sign on both of these terms it will becomes 20 minus 10 plus 10 iota here we have 20 minus 10 is 10 plus 10 iota this is the value of n uh, which we uh, get the corresponding value of m is this one okay so finally we have the two solutions of the given equation are the first solution is uh, m n equals to uh, and the value of m is 10 plus uh, 10 iota the value of corresponding value of n is 10 minus 10 iota this is the first solution and the second solution is m n equals to uh, the value of m is 10 minus 10 iota and the value of uh, n is 10 plus 10 iota so these are the two solutions of the given equation okay so now here we need to verify these solutions and we check that in which of these solutions satisfy the given question statement uh, so in order to verify these solutions first we need to copy down the given question statement and it is m plus n equals to 20 and m multiplied by n equals to 200 so here i can just verify the first solution and i can left the second solution for up to you you can verify by yourself so first we put these values of m and n here and it will be written as the value of m is 10 plus 10 iota plus the value of n is 10 minus 10 iota equals to 20 you see that this negative and positive are gone and 10 plus 10 becomes 20 equals to 20 this shows that the value of uh, m and n satisfied the first equation now we, we can satisfy here the second equation so we substitute the these values here 10 plus 10 iota this is the value of m and 10 minus 10 iota this is the value of n and we check that is this equals to 200 or not okay so here we need to apply the nice formula so you uh, you write these terms as 10 square minus 10 square and iota square equals to 200 so this uh, iota square equals to plus 1 and we know that n square equals to 100 and iota square equals to minus 1 so this minus become this plus this 10 square also 100 equals 200 so 100 plus 100 becomes 200 equals to 200 this also shows that the value of first solution satisfied the second equation as well and this is the final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos